Adding a business address to your listing sounds like a straightforward exercise, but many of you get it wrong. Let's run through the various possible scenarios. If you own a brick and mortar location and customers visit you at that location, then you can add an address to your listing, like in this example. You may also want to include a suite number or indicate which floor your business is on. If so, it is recommended you add these details to a second address line. To do this, head over to Google and sign in to the Google account you use to sign up for a Google business profile. In the Google search bar, type the following, my business. This will bring up your Google listing or listings if you have more than one. Just click on the view profile button of the listing you want to optimize. This will display your Google listing panel along with the many options available to edit it. Click on edit profile and from the pop-up window, click on the location link in the menu. Then click on business location. Make sure your address is correctly entered. And if you want to add a suite number, just click on add address line, then add a suite number, for example. You can also do this using the Google Maps app. Once again, make sure you're also logged in to the account associated with your listing. Either search for your business name and scroll down to see the option available to update your listing or alternatively tap on your account avatar to expand the menu then tap on your business profile then tap on your listing. Just tap on the edit profile button and on business information. Then tap on location and business location. You'll find the option to update your address right there. Note, Google doesn't take suite numbers or floors into consideration to differentiate businesses located in the same premises. For example, these three law firms are all located in the same Manhattan building. Adding a suite or floor number to their listings will not help one over the other being listed in Google search results. It's just a good idea to add them to your listing so customers can find you easily. Another couple of important points to highlight is for those of you who operate from what is known as a virtual office. Such locations are not eligible for a Google business profile. You will not be able to claim a listing either if your business is based in a co-working space unless that office maintains clear signage, receives customers at the location during opening hours and is stuffed during opening hours by your business stuff. Let's move on to businesses that don't operate from a physical location, but instead travel to customers at their homes. These businesses are known as service area businesses. Typical examples would be plumbers, electricians, pest control specialists, etc. If you fall under this category, according to Google's guidelines, you should not add a physical address to your listing, but instead specify the areas in which you operate. Let me show you how. Click on edit profile and then on the location menu link. If you see an address there, it should not be visible to customers since you are a service area type of business and you should technically toggle it off. Then the next thing you'll need to do is to specify the areas you cover by clicking on the service area option. From there, you can add regions, cities, postcodes or districts that your business serves. You can include up to 20 areas as long as they are within a two hour drive of where your business is based. Don't be tempted to add areas you don't cover in a hope it will help you your business rank in Google. Service areas are not a ranking factor. They just help customers to visualize the zone your business covers on Google Maps, which are highlighted with a red boundary, like in this example. Before concluding on service area businesses, there is a very important point I'd like to flag. Although according to Google's guidelines, service area businesses shouldn't display an address, you may have noticed a lot of them do. There are two main reasons behind this. The first one is, if you don't show an address on your listing, you won't get a pin on the map which could discourage potential customers from calling you. The other reason is, it would seem that listings without an address would have a tendency to not rank as high on Google search results as the ones that do. The problem is, if you don't abide by Google's guidelines and decide to add an address to your listing, despite being a service area business, Google will not help you when you encounter issues with your listing unless you correct this first. Worse, your listing could get suspended. Obviously, the decision to display or not an address on your listing if you're a service area 
is entirely up to you. You'll just have to measure risks versus rewards before making a decision. What I recommend is to always follow Google's guidelines to avoid any nasty surprises further down the line. The last scenario I quickly want to cover is for businesses known as hybrid businesses. They are businesses that deal with customers face to face at a physical location, but who also visit customers at their homes. Typical examples would be restaurants that also do deliveries. If you fall into this category, then you can add a physical address to your listing as well as specify areas in which you operate. That's it for today, guys. Best of luck and until next time, happy marketing.